like I said before, a normal human being with a normal working brain doesn't put themselves in situations like this to get themselves clout. Because clout this ain't gonna last you forever. It's good to have fear, because that must keep you alive. <laughs> Let's get right into it. This man is wanted by the US government for alleged war crimes. This is a member of the Taliban, and this is Lord Miles, a oh. small YouTuber from England. Oh, this is how it's getting started. <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today we'll be looking into the case of Lord Miles, a British YouTuber who is currently making headlines for being kidnapped by the Taliban. The story of Lord Miles would begin in August of 2021, when he would take a flight that would change the course of his life forever, as Miles was taking a flight to Afghanistan, whilst the country was being brutally taken over by a regime known as the Taliban. The Taliban. <laughs> Oh boy. It can be debated whether Miles is one of the biggest idiots in the world or simply an adrenaline junkie. But he's stupid. There's no one in the right mind. Is there you knowing about what was going on at the time or still going on right now to this day would go there on their own accord for no reason to, like and, and be smart too. You're just not smart. But Miles thought it would be a fun idea to see what the nation was like in its final moments before being taken over. This would lead to the 13th Idiot. of August 2021, when Miles would go on to make a 4chan post to the TRV board, reading, Decide What the hell does that mean? Okay, I don't know what these numbers mean, but... Okay, decided to pop down to Afghanistan for a few days. Decided to pop down to Afghanistan for a few days. Never been before. Just goofing off and soaking in the sun. Seems more peaceful than London to me. Ask me anything. <laughs> what did they say? Moments before disaster. <laughs> Naturally, other 4chaners questioned the authenticity of Miles' claims. So, in order to prove that he wasn't trolling, Miles proceeded to dox himself by revealing his full name, ID card, and Facebook account. It would also be in this post where he would state that he was only going to stay in the country for five days, which should have been a safe gamble, considering officials estimated that Kabul, the capital city of Afghanistan, wouldn't be in any serious danger for another 30 days. Okay. Miles would also try to form backup plans in case things went south by putting the label Lord on his bank card, hoping that the Taliban would buy into the whole established titles ordeal, thinking he's someone special with some level of negotiating power. A funny idea that would act as some dark foreshadowing considering what would happen later. The emerging serious threat of the capital being taken over by terrorists didn't stop Miles from making the most of his summer vacation in Kabul. As Miles- He's supposed to be there for five days. It feels like he's there forever. <laughs> like like y'all making it seem like as if he's been there for like a cool hot minute before he even decided to like he wanted to leave like it's not making any sense but we'll see miles was having the time of his life uploading several photos of him trying different foods visiting landmarks and just enjoying himself in the city it wouldn't be long before his posts would start gaining popularity on 4chan especially after he leaked his identity to the internet where he would quickly be dubbed the name lord miles but whilst things on the surface seemed fine this would mark the moment where everything started to fall apart but whilst Miles was enjoying his holiday, the Taliban had their sights set on the capital, every day getting closer to an inevitable conflict and war. Things were getting serious, and Miles addressed the concerns to his viewers. Things were getting serious, and people online started worrying about Miles' safety. But Miles would address the concerns of his readers by revealing that he was in a secret safe house located a few minutes away from the embassy. Miles felt that even if the capital was taken over, he could simply stroll the embassy and he would be safe. But unfortunately for Miles, it wouldn't be that easy. Taliban forces entered the heart of the Afghan capital, Kabul, today. The culmination of a rapid advance and retaking of control almost exactly two decades after they were ousted from power. Fighters were filmed inside the presidential palace after Ashraf Ghani, now the former president, fled the country. By the <laughs> So the, the ruler left and you're still there because you're big, bad, and bold. No, this is, this is a recipe for disaster, as I think we're about to notice right now. Or You feel me? Like... Bro wanted clout 
and now he's gonna die. That's, that's, that's what he gets. By the 15th of August 2021, the Taliban forces had surrounded the city and were advancing quickly. Miles had front row seats to see a once peaceful city dissolve into chaos. He witnessed the city's economy collapse as people crowded banks in an attempt to withdraw their life savings. He saw car accidents as families panicked trying to leave for safety. Damn, bro. And you thought you was going to be safe because you're, you're British? Yeah, nigga. <laughs> This is bad. And he also saw the Afghan military surrounding the Taliban or fleeing their posts. Miles knew that his vacation was over and decided it was time to head back to the embassy, which it's upon arrival, he would soon realize had already closed and evacuated. And to make matters even worse, there were no available flights out of Afghanistan. Miles had run out of options, so. This is a crazy sight. Yo. Available <laughs> flights out. <laughs> Yo, a couple of people are taking, I don't know if that's actually flying away or people are actually moving it themselves, but if people are actually moving it themselves, that's absolutely insane. But that doesn't make any sense for them to be moving it themselves. It has to be flying away and then they're just right it's out of Afghanistan. I don't know. Miles no had run out of options, so he decided to make one last stream on Twitch. Miles was. He's finished. He's cooked. He's desperately trying to keep it together, but the cracks in his psyche were already showing. With a Facebook post reading, Also, things aren't good for me right now. As I spoke to the journalists about my experience, I actually remembered them. I didn't remember them before. I've emailed the mental health people at Ebora University, so hopefully they can help me. I'm struggling to stand and keep down water. I don't think I'll sleep tonight. I've seen so many dead people. I just wanted this whole thing to be a little clarity thing where I can explore a weird country, but I've charity thing. mentally broken down. I'm not sure what's going on right now. My face in the mirror doesn't look right. Yeah. War will do that. Well, I don't know nothing about war, but that's what they say. Imagine just seeing dead bodies everywhere because that's not something you're supposed to normally see anyways. Seeing a whole bunch of dead bodies isn't something normal at all. And imagine you just went there just to be cute, just to be funny. And now that's all you're seeing. You knew it was going to be like, how dumb do you have to be? You're such a clout demon, clout chaser. I'm crazy. I'm surprised that I didn't hear about this at all, too. Like this, this has to be big news for real. If like, you know, this doesn't make any sense. Luckily for Miles, help was on the way. On the 16th of August, the friendly military personnel reached the safe house and prepared everyone for evacuation. Miles was equipped with a rifle and body armor. Oh, no. With a post reading, I've met some of the forces, great lads. Flights for RAF are canceled tomorrow, but I'm working on it. Evac is likely. America took back the airport, but apparently it's been breached. I've been hearing gunshots for a while packed just in case. Help couldn't have come at a better time for Miles, as the condition around the airport was hellish to say the least. People were scaling concrete fences and jumping into moving aircrafts. Every That's actually insanity. Okay, so then, so then I have to be right. They were actually, the planes were actually moving and they were trying to get into that plane. That's insane. That is insane. Everyone knew what the Taliban were capable of and wanted to escape by any means. Yeah, they were so desperate to get away, bro. And the fact that they couldn't do anything about that is so sad, bro. Oh. It wasn't until the 17th of August that Miles would give an update to his situation, as he uploaded a video of himself on an aircraft with almost 100 other people who managed to escape. He also stated that he was on a list of people going to Dubai, and just like that, Miles had cheated death and lived to tell the tale. Literally. During his time in Afghanistan, Miles' posts went viral. Various. <laughs> you think? <laughs> you think? News publications had written about him, and his updates on 4chan basically took over the travel board. In less than a week, Miles went from an anonymous 4chan user to a public figure. And over the next few days, Miles was featured in several interviews and dozens of articles were written about him. I think the first thing that I want to ask you, and the thing that a lot of people are definitely going to have on the- Blood looks good. He looks good here. Like, he, he was kind of looking a little dirty and, you know, mangled and the other ones, and like, you know. But he was, he, 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 he's not chopped. 
that it was kind of chopped, but he looks good. He looks good here. Our minds. Yes, mate. What the fuck were you thinking, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, blood. <laughs> Come on, lad. You know, I was thinking the same thing. And, like, you know, he, he kind of dumb. <laughs> Honestly, like Afghanistan. However, he faced harsh criticism for leaking sensitive information that could have led to the death of his interpreter that aided in his escape. He was also called out for taking up resources that could have been used to save Man. other individuals who are now trapped in Afghanistan. To many, Miles should have never stepped foot in Kabul since his presence only made the situation more complicated. He's dumb. He's dumb. He's dumb. And he wanted to clout too for people around him. Miles became a polarizing figure. On one hand, people saw him as a careless tourist that only put people in danger, whilst on the other, people looked up to him as a modern day adventurer. Miles- Okay, okay, okay. Uh, like, you, you look up to him it's just because you're very much into like the throw-based type lifestyle where you're okay with putting your life on the line to have fun and things of that nature. No normal human being should be putting themselves in this situation at all. You shouldn't risk your life to have fun. And mind you, he could have risked his life. He could have became famous on TikTok, whatever it was, famous at the time, YouTube, Instagram, 4chan, all that. And then been dead. Like, you would have gotten nothing from it at all. Everyone's going to be calling you stupid this whole time. And you know, I'm about to get nothing from it at all. Value life, people. Value your life. Miles now had a name for himself and wanted to make the most of his newfound fame. So by January of 2022, he would start his own YouTube channel, with the first video being him sneaking into a tropical resort. Hey guys, so um, yeah, if you look around me. Lads, I'm on a tropical resort, but I didn't pay for it. <laughs> I... Okay, what did we learn? nothing clearly he does something stupid and he does something an, a, another thing stupid too like bro come on the sam hyde method where i just tell a story and somehow i got into this place so what i do just beforehand is i call up i go oh ring ring you would think almost getting trapped in an active war zone would make Miles think <laughs> twice about traveling, but the truth is, saying, it only made him want to do it even more. He continued to visit several exotic and dangerous locations across the globe. The border between Ukraine and Russia, the Chernobyl power plant, and even an- Bro, what? Clout is a dangerous drug. An illegal snake infested island were just a few of the places that Miles explored. Miles also wrote in a book about his time in Afghanistan and even got Andrew Tate to sign it. Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Of course, they probably love everything I say. Of course, yeah. You are right. <laughs> Incredible. The Taliban are on my side. <laughs> Unbelievable. Top G, top G. <laughs> to, all the, to, all, to all the Taliban, I want you all to know, Top G loves you too, you know? Miles shared updates of his freak? travel plans on Twitter and Instagram, gaining thousands of followers on both platforms, oh, and almost 70,000 subscribers on YouTube. Miles was living his own dream. He didn't have to live the monotonous life set up for him after graduation. Instead, he got the chance to go anywhere he wanted. This unlimited freedom and lack of caution would ultimately lead up to some extremely damaging consequences. Gotta be, right? Like, something had to have happened to this. Miles wasn't the type of man to shy away from or even notice dangerous situations. Literally. This becomes very apparent when you realize that he went back to Afghanistan. Oh my goodness. <sighs> you know, I was waiting for when he got kidnapped. I didn't realize, it. I didn't remember that that's exactly what happens. But, you know, here it goes. <laughs> Niggas dumb. Other direct communications with the Taliban. In a tweet reading, This morning my friend was late, so I waited by the road. Taliban came up to me and gave me tea and snacks. Then when I left, I saw him offering a seat to an elderly man who struggled to stand. Very kind man, thank you. It hadn't even been a year since Miles returned to the country that he was evacuated from. But this time, having tea with a military group that took over said nation. As a matter of fact, he was even able to buy weapons and Taliban merchandise. In a tweet reading, I rocked up to a group of Taliban today and struck up a conversation. Turns out, I can buy the US Army military equipment. RPG, RPG for $400? Bro. Yo, they're just selling them to sell. Oh my god. G is $400. Who gave them these weapons? 
PKM is $500 and night vision goggles is $300 ish. I'm going to the market tomorrow. Could become a good legal business to export with another tweet reading. I'm going to start selling Taliban merch on the 21st with Yo, yeah. It doesn't pay to be a cloud demon because you do dangerous stuff like this. This is not this is not safe for you or, or the people around you. National shipping. Get put on a watch list for affordable prices. On the 18th of August 2022, Miles uploaded a video of him buying black market weapons. Who was previously wanted by the US for five years. I'm also going to hang out with the Taliban. Now you may ask, why am I in Afghanistan? Well that's a really good Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm asking that question during covid lockdowns afghanistan was the only country open without a vaccine mandate so i just went that's a horrible reasoning to go but you know you go off hello my friends the un's right there the video got over a million views and became his most viewed video leading miles to wanting to see how far it could take things exactly. his twitter account is flooded with photos of him and members of the taliban and he would go on to visit afghanistan four times in 2022 however unlikely correspondence didn't come without issues miles would have his instagram temporarily banned his damn he's getting cooked eBay listings taken down and Damn. was no longer permitted to visit almost 90% of Europe. In a tweet the? reading, I put Oh my goodness, they banned this man from places all over. Yeah. Posted one selfie with the Taliban on Instagram and have been banned. What a cucked social media. I'm going to create another and another tweet. Well, you're not, you're, you're not some big bad guy, bro. You're a good guy from Europe. Go back to England, bro. Come on, bro. Let's be for real. You're, you're, you're wallet. Tweet reading, eBay removed my listings for Taliban headbands. I called them up and lablapped calling them Taliban phobic and discriminatory. They are. Yo, yo. <laughs> Just so corny, bro. Apologized, and the listing will be up in three days. And another tweet reading, This is my plan, guys, for my frozen bank account. Buy up tons of Taliban merch you guys enjoyed buying. Resell through my upcoming Shopify store. Sustain myself through that until my bank is unfrozen. Association with the Taliban could earn- Bro, well, you know they're a terrorist group, and you still decide to uh, uh, align yourself with said group. Like, like it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense for a reasonable human being with all their brain cells still intact to go and do something like this. Please get some help. Only end badly, and by early 2023, Miles realized that the hard way. By March of 2023, rumors began to spread that Miles had gone missing. The last time he had uploaded anything was back in February, which was very much out of the ordinary for Miles. He was the type of creator to keep his audience updated almost daily, and now was completely gone offline. What had happened to Miles? Was he taking a break, or did he get arrested? On the 15th of March 2023, a random Twitter account named Taliban Pub public relations department made a tweet that seemed to reveal some details about Miles' situation. It's with great- Damn, they have a public relations department? <laughs> they become a full-blown organization? Oh my gosh, they need- what, what, what do they call that? Press people? Great sorrow to announce that we have lost contact with our beloved brother, the real Lord Miles. His last known sighting was in eastern Afghanistan on the 6th of March. We are doing all we can to locate him. The foreign ministry has informed the UK embassy, Islamabad. Looking back- Damn. Don't wish nothing bad on this man, but he's fried. <laughs> Cook this too nice, but this man is fried. Look at other posts made by the Taliban Public Relations Department, it's unlikely that anything put out is factual, but that didn't stop unsuspecting viewers from taking the claims as fact. In the coming weeks, the Taliban shared several updates on Miles' whereabouts and allegedly sent out a search party. An update on brother real lord Miles. The snow battle alone has been sent to Badakhshan province in search of Miles. They are well equipped and have extensive experience in mountain combat and search and rescue. If you have to do all of this to find one human being, he's probably not alive anymore. He probably he probably pissed off some random Taliban dude and he got blicked up and they went and hit his body because he's a public figure. He's dumb. He probably would do something like that. 
rescue. They will start their search from their base in Fezabad at daybreak. Eventually, they claimed Miles was found, but if that were true, then it would only make his situation even worse, since he was now in the hands of one of the world's most ruthless military organizations. With a tweet reading, Salam Alikum brothers and sisters. We hope this tweet reaches you in good health. Some of you are still inquiring about Lord Miles. The department assures you that he's in perfect health and will soon reappear on social media. He will have many surprises for you guys. That doesn't sound good at all. That does not sound safe. That's not... Like, I, 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 I don't like hearing something like this because now it just sounds like, okay, they're probably like programming this nigga to like do whatever they want him to do. They altered him. By the 2nd of April, several news organizations had begun reporting the tragedy, and it was allegedly confirmed that Miles was indeed in Afghanistan and was being held by the Taliban alongside two other British citizens. Three British men who have been detained by Taliban secret police in Afghanistan. One of those being held is thought to have built up an online following by visiting dangerous places, while the other two are understood to have been arrested during a raid on accommodation used by foreign aid workers. Miles' unfortunate circumstances sparked a viral discourse between people who saw him as a dumb tourist that enjoyed getting into dangerous situations, and others who saw him as an individual who were concerned about his well being. Suspicion around the Taliban's claims of taking care of Miles was apparent. People aren't going to trust a militant group responsible for the death of thousands to treat a potential spy with any level of care or remorse. In little over a year, Miles had gone from a no-name 4chan user to a viral modern-day adventurer with- To a viral modern-day idiot. That's literally what he is, and that's whatever, what he will be forever, because like I said before, a normal human being with a normal working brain doesn't put themselves in situations like this to get themselves clout. Because clout isn't going to last you forever. With little to no sense of fear, the 24-year-old had been to an active war zone, deadly island. It's good to have fear, because that was to keep you alive. 